The Goodwood Stakes is next. Uh, we'll get yourself a drink. Ready for this one? Because it could take a while. It's two mile five furlongs, not to one hundred. And the top one is Tigava for all Graham Clutterbuck. Everlast for Joshua Sutherland. Colville Slayer for Graham Clutterbuck as well. Uh, Riley of Ardiles for Thomas Rogers. Lucky Rebecca for Martin Leedham. Tikiti Namika, Alex Cherry, Baron Castle for Jim Murray and Stella Brilliant for Obi Wan. They're all in. And away they go. And this marathon trip. And Tikiti Namika is probably just about the first to show. They sorted themselves out, figuring out where they want to be. And it looks like Tigava might be going to come across to. Take over. And Tigava is the leader and gets over to the rail and has now settled down in front. The rest of them still in a bit of a cluster trying to decide who's going to take up what berth. But Stella Brun is probably just the back marker, but Tigava leads by a bare three lengths to in second place stable mate Colville Slayer. And right wide on the track there is Everlast. And down this near side, Jim Murray's got Baron Castleford. The purple jacketed one next to that is Lucky Rebecca. That won one of the marathon races at Royal Ascot last season, so it'll certainly stay the trip at least. Takiti Namika has just dropped back a little bit. The back two are Riley of Ardiles in the green, and the yellow jacketed Stella Brilliant. So, down towards the final two miles of this race, and Tigava. Got an undisputed lead, a good five lengths to stablemate Colville Slayer Baron Castleford on the inside of that one, just between the two. Lucky Rebecca to Keaton Namika on the outside of them, and then on the outside of uh, to Keaton Namika, we've got Riley, Riley of Ardiles and Everlast with Stella Brilliant in the yellow jacket on the rail. Just the back marker at this point, but there's still. An awful long way to go, more than three quarters in fact, and Tigava is four to six clear. Off to Keaton and Mika is now poked ahead back through in a second. And Baron Castleford third on the inside of Lucky Rebecca. With Colville Slayer alongside that one and then Everlast. And then Riley of Ardid isn't Stella Brilliant. Still just at the back. But a long way to go. And not that far behind the leader really. Tigava is that leader. Uh, Graham Clutterbuck likes to win these long distance races so no surprise to see him got two in it. And it's clear at the moment this one Tigava by five lengths to Takiti Namika in second. Baron Castle for the third, Lucky Rebecca four and Everlast five. Then Colville Slayer just dropped back a bit to sixth. And then Riley of Ardiles is next and the back marker is still just stellar brilliant. Bowling along quite happily. Well within themselves, no distress signals being put out by anybody just yet. There's nothing you'd rule out. But Tigava has caught the lead and the jockey after a little look round to see how the rest of them are going. And see that they all seem to be going really well. Nothing struggling yet. And Tigava there to be shot at in the lead. But if the jockey's got a decent clock in his head, he might be able to steal it from the front. Takiti Namika's second, Baron Castleford is third, Everlast has moved up into fourth on the outside of Lucky Rebecca, then Colville Slayer and Stella Brilliant's gone past Riley Evard Diles now as they make their way towards the final six furlongs. And Tigava's in the lead, Baron Castleford second, Everlast looks like it's making a move around the outside. Lucky Rebecca just looks like she hit a bit of a flat spot there. The other one that's making good ground is Stella Brilliant. As Colville Slayer is now dropping out to the back, but he's going to switch to the outside to try and get a run. Tigava with five furlongs to go. Lead is now down to less than a length with Everlast looming on the outside. Baron Castleford getting into overdrive in third. Then a gap back to Takiti Namika and Lucky Rebecca together with Stella Brilliant now switch around the outside. Then Riley of Ardiles and Colville Slayer. But it's still Tigava in front. Everlast second. Baron Castleford third. Stella Brilliant and Tikita Namika are both running on really well. Lucky Rebecca is staying on well. Then Colville Slayer and Riley of Ardiles at the back. And Tigava's kicked on again and has gone four clear again as Everlast hit the water. Is he giving that one a little bit of a breather? Baron Castleford moves into second. Takiti Namika and Lucky Rebecca beginning to run on as well. But Tigava's past the two furlong pole, still in the lead. From Baron Castleford in second. Then in third is Everlast. Takiti Namika and Lucky Rebecca. But Tigava has been in the lead all the way then. Comes down towards the final furlong. It doesn't look like anything's going to get to Tigava at the moment. Tigava just been given a bit of a 
push along there to keep going, but Tigava is keeping going into the final half. Well, they're not going to get to this Tigava, I don't think. Up towards the line, Tigava's going to win this one really easily. And up the line, Tigava wins it. Baron Cusford second, then Everlasting Lucky Rebecca and Riley of Ardiles run on well as well. But Tigava won that straight out of the gate, really. And a pretty spectacular front running performance there. As Tigava takes it, so Tigava wins it for Graham Clutterbuck. Baron Castleford was second for Jim Murray. Everlast for Joshua Sullivan was third. Lucky Rebecca for Martellino was fourth. And Riley of Ardiles for Thomas Rogers was fifth.